Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the series of ZBrush tutorial for dummies and if you have not watched the other two lessons that I have created, go ahead and do so. So this video is going to be about display properties. Uh, how you can set up some display options. So this somehow or you have a single sided mesh in ZBrush even if you have imported from the software or you have created it here if you have any single uh, sided mesh that doesn't have two side back side is the back face and uh, what you can do is under tool section you can come uh, come down to display properties and here you can set if you want it to be double sided or not this is uh, this is the way where you can easily sculpt uh, your geometry if you want so i've just taken up the move brush suppose if you haven't turned it off you don't know uh, where is the mesh and it just works like it's an empty space the u model will rotate if you so if you turn on double if the mesh is there the back face will be visible and you will be able to sculpt also, if you have something like <clears throat> what you can do is uh, if you have some some part of the mesh which is like this and if you want the collars to be inverted, all you can do is flip and the collars will be inverted. But at this moment, we don't want this. So these two options are very helpful. You can use flip or double. How flip works I'll show you you can just come down to uh, polygroups and auto group with UVs if you have UVs it will give you auto groups so you are unable to see the colors completely in this case what you will do is go down to display properties click double now the color is completely visible and now it's isolated all you have to do is control shift and click on it to isolate it then you can turn off double and whatever is visible it will get flip if you click on flip now control shift click again now if you see that the color was not visible again this all were still invisible so yeah by invisible i mean these are back face and this is now flipped so that's how you can flip it also uh, okay yeah these are okay add smooth draw resolution these i i don't use them so also there are other settings that you can use uh, like transparency shading you can use them if you have transparent material you can use transparency shading in this case it's not transparent I just turned it on and to view if it's a transparent or not uh, you have to render it it's not real time it since it's 2.5D canvas as well, the ZBrush, that's how it works. Uh, it's actually uh, won't give you transparency here. You have to press Shift R to render it, and now you'll be able to see the transparency. How I activated it? Let's uh, from here under BPR settings, I've just turned on the BPR transparent shading, and here visibility also you can just play with the visibility as well. So that's how transparency works. There we go. So yeah, if you need it, use it. Otherwise, that's okay. So that's it for this one. We looked at the display properties. And uh, let's meet in the next one where we will see how you can set up some reference images.